really fun, but I don't have time to make all that stuff or I don't have time to whatever. So make it look easy for you as a consultant, one trip in, one trip out, um, as well as make it really easy for the host and make it look easy for the other guests to see how easy it is for the host. So simple. Another thing that really helps with your goal, remember you have a really motivated host. So um, I always offer some little prize. Oftentimes it'll be something like in the United States we have scent of the month. So I get 10 of these bars that are exclusive um, every, every month. And so a lot of times uh, I will give these away and say, okay, here's your little prize. If you get three orders, three pre-orders, and two, dating and waiting, which basically is just that she's booked parties for her friends for me. Sorry, crazy hair. Um, then she will get this extra prize. It can be anything simple, anything, whatever. It doesn't have to be like a warmer or anything. It can even be a candy bar if you want. Um, like I said, I like to give these away because she is going to some extra effort. And um, it is a great way to motivate her. And it's a fun little prize. And she um, loves to get it in her hand. And like I said, it's kind of an exclusive scent. Uh, it's the scent of the month that nobody else has. She doesn't have it. So like I said, give her a little, a little bait, a little carrot to help her to increase her party by having party bookings, I mean, party bookings and orders ahead of time before the party even starts. Tic-tac-toe. This is a great way to help your host. Again, this is in your Scentsy Family store. So this is a great way to help um, your host do all the things that are going to ensure that she has a great party. This is a fun little game, but it's basically a way to, like I said, help make sure she's doing all the things that she needs to do to have a successful party. Um, I can go over those things maybe in another video because I don't want to take too long, but tic-tac-toe really helps to um, give your, your host some goals and something to work on so that she knows exactly what's expected of you. You're not having to nag her because she's doing it for a fun price. So tic-tac-toe is fun. Okay, $500 minimum. This, remember when we talked about the host wish list and how she's now working for a $700 minimum party and a $1,600 maximum party, whatever, for her big goal. Um, that way, when you're talking to her about details, you can say, okay, and our party's gonna be a $500 minimum goal, even though her own, P her own personal goal is up at $700, you are going to give her the $500 minimum, the bare minimum goal instead of $200. I never tell my host that the minimum party order to close it is $200. Why? Because then that kind of sets the standard of where they're gonna be. And then they're gonna be scrounging and clawing to barely make it up to the $200. She might even not get there, especially with a basket party. And then she says, oh, I, I can't close my party. What are we gonna do? And then it's not a very good experience for the host. She gets $20 in free stuff for having all the same effort of um, hosting a party as if she could have you know, $100 in free stuff or more. So set that goal for her, $500. There's a couple reasons why. This is a $500, a magic number. One, because um, at least in the United States, the $500 is where, so look at your own compensation plan if you are in another country. Um, and like I said, I'm using dollars because that's our party minimum, but you could equate, you have different, um, party minimums for your different regions. But in the United States, $500 is our minimum party goal for tapping into the 15% host rewards instead of 10%. So that is, as well as the three half off items. So that's going to be a much better party experience for her because she's going to get lots of free stuff. And like I said, it's way more worth her effort if she has lots of good stuff. So $500 party minimum, as well as, remember how our goal is to recruit everybody, um, recruit every host if they would like to at least offer that to them. With a $500 minimum party already, if you do flip her, meaning if she turns from a host and decides to take those orders and, and sign up and enter them as her own, then she will already have her Shooting Star Award already. From day one, the minute she's a consultant, she's already earned Shooting Star. You'll earn the Shooting Star Training Award. You can look these things up in the um, resources tab to figure out what all of that means if you don't know, or we can go over it later. But um, So she'll get Shooting Star, you'll get Shooting Star Trainer Award. That gets her halfway to certified in her permanent raise at least, and gets her well on her way to sensational start levels. As well as, if she doesn't want to flip, that gets you up to your leadership bonuses. It, it qualifies you for that. Remember, every month we have to sell at least 500 PRV, and so um, that helps get you up to that minimum number at least, so then you know that you never miss out on a promotion or being paid on your downline. Um, 
and then the rest of the month you can flip all the rest of the parties and not have to worry about your own party minimums to be able to be paid on them so those are just a couple of reasons why $500 is the beautiful number as well as if you're going for $2,000 2,000 PRV months you only need four $500 parties so you can do once a week or a couple a week or whatever and you're guaranteed to get a lot closer to your 2000 PRV mark, which is the extra 5%. You get paid 30% commissions that month. Um, if you only do 200 PRV parties or $200 parties, because that's our minimum in the United States, you have to do 10 parties to get to that 2000. So it's a lot more likely that you will have success if you can bump up your parties a little bit more by creating that um, thought that $500 is the bare minimum, right, to close their party. Remember, like I said, they're already thinking 700, 800, 900 because they want the things on their wish list. But that's just kind of always something to remember, the $500 minimum. Okay, so then you have your party, it's fantastic. At the end, like I said, always offer to flip the host. And that just means you flip her from a host to a consultant by she signs up on the workstation, then she can enter those orders. So offer to flip every host. They don't have to, but it's always better to have uh, a new recruit than to keep the best host. They make great hosts as well as, um, you can always find more orders, but to find a great new consultant is going to build your team, it's going to help catapult you, and it's going to help catapult them, and just everything about your business is going to grow if you can have great start for your new recruits, and this is a great way to do it. Manage expectations, that just means, sorry, these might be kinda hard to read. Manage expectations, that just means keep in contact with your host even after the party is over. It's not just that the party is over so now you don't have to say anything, but um, call her and say if anything is on back order. Um, they're a lot more likely to be fine with that if they know and if they're kept in the loop. Um, also, when you see in your workstation that you have a tracking number, you call her up and you say, Susie, your party was so fun. Guess what, I have great news. Your party is shipped and it will be at my house on Tuesday. I'm going to divide it all up according to customers and package it all up cute and then I will bring it by. Would you like it Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, which is better? And then, like I said, you are managing the expectations that she, as well as you've told her already, but just to make sure she knows she's going to get to deliver all of those to her guests because um, that's part of the host expectations. So make sure she knows that. As well as if it's slow, if it's backward, or if it's taking longer, if it's really fast, you're managing those expectations so she's not stuck in the middle having to have field all of those questions by her friends saying, Mm, we ordered three weeks ago, where's our order? Or when's it coming in? Or I got all my order except for this one item, where is it? Because you've already let that host know what's going on and you've already managed the expectations of when things are coming, what you're expecting of her, when you're gonna close that party. Like I said, I always tell my host that I don't like to keep the parties open after because I feel like if they got any pre-orders, um, as well as it's not fair to the people that came to the party. They're the ones that went to the effort to go to the party, so they're the ones that should get the benefit of um, having their orders turned in and shipped quickly. So I let my host know ahead of time before the party that I'm gonna close it that night or maybe the very next day um, so that we can get those orders in quickly and then everybody's happy because um, it's so quick. But if you have to wait um, another week after the party, you might have two weeks gone from the pre-orders and a week from the party orders and then you haven't even turned it in yet, let alone have Sensi's shipping guarantee to come. So, um, And then, last thing, you're almost done, is Deliver the orders. So deliver them to your host in a timely manner. Like I said, get them in fast because that's gonna make everybody a lot more happy and a lot more pleased with their whole experience and a, a lot more likely to host again for you. And um, make sure you label everything. Label, label, label. Put your labels on all of every product, every item. Package it up cute. I'm not fancy, obviously. We already we already got that out here. I'm not fancy, I'm not cutesy, I'm not very good at that. That's not my that's not my forte. But everybody deserves a little package in their order, a little present. So I always take every bag for every um, guest and I tie it with a little ribbon, super simple, and I stick the little label on there of with their name. And then inside their bag, that's your advertising, that's your free advertising. So I always put a host brochure, a join brochure, maybe even a catalog or at least a product product list or something like that so that they can look and order some more from you. You want to make it easy for them to order from you again and um, a really positive experience for the host as well. So, um, oh, one other thing that I do when I do put my 
host brochures in with my orders. I always put a little sticky note. Obviously, I'm a sticky note fan. I love them because they're easy. They're semi-professional, but they're still so personal. So I write a handwritten note on all of my host brochures in my customer bags that just says, hey, thanks so much for your order. Um, now booking parties for March. Ask for my March special. I'd love to party with you or something simple like that handwritten on every single one that I stick in their bags because even if they didn't host a party or, or um, sign up to host a party the night of the party, chances are now they're sitting at home. They've plugged in their warmer with their brand new scent. They're using their other products, whatever they've bought from you and they're just loving them and they think, oh, I should have gotten more or, oh, that really was a fun party and that was pretty easy. I think I could probably do it. Now you're in front of them again by your little paper saying, yeah, remember, let's do a party. And then she, it's easy to find you. It's easy to figure out where she can um, get a hold of you. And then all of a sudden you have more parties from your parties. That's the goal of every party is to have a fantastic party so that you can have more parties, book more parties off of every party and hopefully flip, flip those parties. So here's my last little tidbit. I always try to flip the host and if she doesn't want it, I offer it to the guests as well. Try to flip the guests. Maybe one of them will be your next consultant in waiting and um, then you'll be, like I said, growing your team is a big, huge key. So anyway, I hope some of these things help. Uh, there's a lot of other things I could say. Um, oh, I forgot this last thing. Sorry, obviously there is more I could say. So just really quickly, every party, the way that I increase my parties is make every party more than one party. So if it's a basket party, create a Facebook party and at least, at least, at least put the party on your PWS and have them email it out to friends, put it on Facebook at very least. So. Um, have them create a PWS link. I mean, um, you create the PWS link and then they send it out with their basket party. Same thing with the home party. Um, give them the basket party stuff and have them again um, email out and, and get the word out, put it on Facebook, all that stuff with the link to their party on your PWS. Um, if they're doing a Facebook party, again, it's the smell that sells. So mail them at least um, a catalog and a few testers as well so that they can smell and then they can get excited. Because just like if just like the host, when she's doing her wish list, um, it's gonna be the same way with your Facebook party host. If they have smelled the scents and they know which ones they like, they are going to kind of be a fake consultant to help you, an assistant, if you will. Because when they hear somebody saying, oh, I'm looking for a really good bakery scent, they've just smelled all the testers and they're gonna chime in and they're gonna say, oh, I smelled this one, it's so great, you gotta try it. And then they're already kind of trying their hand at being a consultant and helping you and just sharing their excitement for the fragrances as well. So. Um, and then again, like I said, flip. Offer every party to every host so that they can join you and um, have a successful Sensi consultant, consultant business themselves. So anyway, sorry, this is lots to, lots to handle, but hopefully there's something good in here. And I like to, this is how, sorry, I keep saying one last tidbit, but I think this really is my last tip. Um, this is how I built my business at the beginning. I had a hard time getting home parties. I was in a very um, common area for Sensi. I live right here by the home office. And when I joined, there were so many of us already doing it. So I didn't want to be a piranha. I didn't want to be annoying. I didn't want to ask all my friends for parties. Um, obviously, I would do them if, if they showed interest. But I didn't want to be fighting with my other consultant friends over parties. I just didn't want to do that. So I figured, okay, the post office is my best friend. So in the United States, you can mail one of these priority flat rate padded envelopes. No matter how heavy it is, it doesn't matter, right? If it fits, it ships. So it can be stuffed to the brim. It can be super heavy. Um, and it ships for, um, it used to be $6.10. I heard it just went up to $6.80. Either way, it's a fantastic deal and you don't have to even worry about how much it weighs because you can just put whatever inside. So I do it just like um, a, a party. I do the same host coaching, but I just mail it away. So if I have a friend in Michigan or a cousin in New York or whatever, I can mail this away and she can do the same party and the same host coaching process just as if she were here, only she's getting to do it in the comfort of her own home. I have her, I include all of the same things that I would for a normal party, like I said, even the invitations because I want her to have an in-home party and then I will Skype in technology or FaceTime or even just call in. Technology makes the world a small place and it allows you to be in their living room with them without even having to go anywhere. So, and then all of a sudden you can be in five different states in three nights or something like that. So anyway, if you're having a hard time and you want to expand your business even more or just need a new idea, 
try my mail a party, that works as well. Just remember, coach your host even with the mail a party. Um, it really does make a big difference because that's what hosts want. They want a little bit of hand holding and they want to feel special as they should. So anyway, good luck with your parties. I hope they're awesome. And if you have any other questions, um, feel free to contact me as always. So good luck with your parties.